All right, this is gonna be interesting. So why you should not work with chiropractors? So it's gonna be a little bit controversy. So in this video, we'll talk about it and I'll give you a reasons why you should not go after chiropractors. And it's gonna be just my personal subjective opinion. So I have some experience working with chiropractors. It's not like I'm just gonna talk randomly, you know, that's something that I don't really know. But I work with over, honestly, with over eight chiropractors. And I'm gonna be super honest with you, I still keep one chiropractor, but I just come up with an idea with this video and just wanna show you and just a couple of reasons why you, you can go after other niches that are way easier to get in and land the clients. So it's gonna be a pretty cool video. Maybe for some of you it's gonna explode your pukanit, how we say in Russian. I just wanna cover and give you a few reasons why you should not work with chiropractors and go after other niches that are more, uh, not even more profitable, but it's easier to get results and you can save yourself so much time and energy working with other niches. So yes, I'm gonna be a little bit more biased about a uh, car dealership niche since this is my niche and uh, even though I still keep my clients in other niche, uh, in, I work with other clients, but like mainly I'm focused on car dealership niche. So yes, I'm gonna be a little bit more biased about car dealerships, but I want just uh, first cover about chiropractors and why it's really, really hard to work with them and why you should not go after chiropractors. So with that being said, let's just dive into today's topic. All right, I'd probably start with the major reason why you should not work with chiropractors because this is not only me had uh, the, the same issue, the same uh, problem working with them, but also other people. And I know it's, so I just want to give you this overview. So number one thing that it's really hard to get them uh, the clients that will stay and uh, stay with them for at least, you know, for the long term. Because usually when you run a campaign for chiropractors, you know, getting them leads, these people are interested just in one thing, one, one deal that you're offering. For example, if you're doing new patient special, let's say for $19, $29 or $59, depending on your chiropractor, and these people who are opting in, uh, and you, if you do Facebook ads, these people who are opted in and then um, interested in this deal, these are called like deal hunters. So even though if, if you will get these people to your chiropractor practice, usually they will like, from my experience, 90% of them are not coming back for another appointment. So it's really hard at the client retention for this specific offer, it's really hard to you know to get to, for a chiropractor this type of you know clients that they are actually looking for. So the the biggest thing, the hardest part with that is convert leads that you get in for a chiropractor for the long term patients because this is where the chiropractors makes money. Because yes, if you can get them, let's say you know hundreds of leads, you know hundreds of leads, and only uh, you know and only you know five of these people coming or 10 people coming to this, you know, new patient special, if you're doing like adjustment or uh, depending on what type of, or exam, free exam and consultation. So it's really hard for them to keep these people and close them for the long term. And I'm telling you that because I work with over eight chiropractors and I have the same, same problem with each of them. The problem is to convert leads that I'm getting for them into long term paying customers. And the other thing that working with chiropractors and getting these leads, they don't really expect you to uh, to close them, you know, because they really want you to, you know, get them and close them yourself, which is not really possible because you're just signing up for getting leads and, and running ads for them. And then they should do the main, or the receptionist, or they should call and follow up with these people. And 90% of time, like almost all the time, they uh, for getting to follow up or even they just they can send email or just one call and then they never do they never follow up again but the main thing with actually closing this list closing these clients for them is with following up and uh, upselling them for other services so in another perspective for example working with car dealerships if you're getting them leads, these people are interested in buying the car, especially depending on what kind of, who you're targeting in, what type of car, and also what kind of offer you're, uh, you're advertising. But if you're getting leads for car, uh, for car dealerships, they're most likely that will convert because they are you know, opted in for a specific car and they wanna buy a car. Whenever then a car dealership, you know, 
owner makes at least two to five thousand dollars in one car so you can see the value behind if you just get in them a couple leads and they sell a car you already pay for your services whether with chiropractors if you just let's say you got a hundred leads and out of usually I've noticed conversion rate from my experience it's five to ten percent it's really good if you you're getting like hundred leads and you get it into the door like five to ten uh, people who were interested in your new patient special offer let's say it was you know exam uh, consultation and adjustment and your chiropractor got like five uh, five people in only like literally if you close one out of these five or ten people close one for long term like a long term uh, clients that's a real success it's real success second reason why you don't want to work with chiropractors because the second reason, it's really hard to catch them inside the practice with, whenever they're not busy. Yes, you can go in the morning whenever they before opening or after closing, but still, you have to um, you have to understand that they don't know your brand, they don't know you if you're just talking about or just calling them. It's really hard to close them. Again, compared to other niches, you know, even um, if you go after I know dentist, which is a bit different. Uh, but still similar but if you go for example about car dealerships you can literally catch the owner inside the car dealership especially if it's like used car dealership uh, almost all the time he's there if he has uh, one or two locations because he is the one who runs the business and also you know goes to auctions and making sure that a business is running smoothly so it's easier for you to go for uh, in catch the owner inside the car dealerships and second reason this is one of the, uh, the the things that I can't stress enough that car dealerships car dealership owners are usually understand the that you are selling them what I mean it's kind of maybe doesn't really make sense but what I'm trying to say that they understand you from the perspective that you are a salesman you're trying to close them on your services and then uh, obviously depending everybody is different and everybody car dealership owner is different but they understand that you are there and you're selling and they kind of uh, willing to most likely and for what I've noticed they're willing to listen to your pitch and see what you kind of uh, offering and they kind of more you know you kind of on the same page with the salespeople maybe you didn't notice that but from my experience I talk a lot with, with people I interact with business owners and with car, uh, car salesmen they or people who are just in the sales industry it's way easier for you to communicate and just you know sell your services or just preach them because they understand because we do the same job basically so again working with chiropractors it's really hard to catch the owner inside the practice and it's really even though if you catch them it's really hard to close them if you didn't have previous experience and uh, so these are the pretty much two main reasons why you should not work with chiropractors because first one again it's really really hard for them to convert the leads for uh, into the high ticket the the high end paying uh, clients that is gonna stay for the long term and second reason it's really hard to catch them and actually third reason if you even catch them inside and if you close them and you get them leads you will notice that the with the matter of time it's really hard to retain the client the chiropractor the chiropractor client for a few months even because yes I, I have I had a, a chiropractic clients that's been with me for one month two two months three months maximum and then they're falling off compared to a, uh, to car dealerships you can easily retain your client if you have the right strategy lay out for them and you know each month what kind of promotion you're gonna do and what kind of ads you're gonna run then you can retain and get them you know keep that client for the long term also with chiropractors they usually have a marketing team or marketing person who runs their website so that's another thing that you gotta compete kind of and show how you better than that person or the marketing that team that they have than you uh, because they already have someone who runs who does SEO or does some type of you know Facebook ads whatever they do so you kind of have to sell your services you kind of prove that you're better than uh, that other company and they already you know have trust in that company and that this is another thing that really uh, you know hard for you if you especially if you if you just starting out another thing that's gonna be hard for you to you know to show them that you're better than their company again compared to car dealerships they don't really usually have a marketing team and if it's like a huge car dealership or like new car dealership 
if they if it's like use scholarship is, and they have one or two locations they don't really have a marketing team they because they advertise themselves on uh, car gurus other trader craigslist i hope you got that you see the perspective where i'm kind of coming from and it's just my subjective opinion how it's uh, you know in my comparison and how i see the things how it's hard to work with chiropractors or even get them results if there is like a other way that you can choose and go after clients that you can easily catch the owner inside the car dealership the people do, the owners car dealership owners that already understand you because they do sales they they've been there and they willing to listen to your pitch and they don't have you normally a marketing team and you can fill out the gap and help them do marketing for them so that's why you can rather choose the route of uh, you know working with car dealerships and have you know save so much time and energy and get them easily results and i have a lot of tutorials here on my channel that you can get watch for free and right now putting a lot of content how to work with car dealerships so you know just watch out on this video so you can go through the history you have a bunch of videos how to work with car dealerships and also if you want to some more advanced techniques and advanced stuff how to you know grow your agency and work with car dealerships i have a course that you can check out as well and also actually i'm having a, a you know master class a webinar that you can also watch i'm running ads on my channel and also i'm teaching them some really cool techniques in there that are not available on the channel uh obviously so you can also check it out that but that guys pretty much it for this video if you found some uh value if you found this video helpful make sure you know to give this video a thumbs up and also smash that notification bell and subscribe button because i provide value for you in this video i just want to you know give you around it from my experience what is the the best ways to run your agency and how to get results for your clients again guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next just to let the world know no we're not nameless we're not faceless we were born for greatness We're not nameless, we're not faceless, we were born for greatness